Hello, Grade 6, and welcome to this week's Weekly Breakdown. Since last week we talked about heat as in scientific term, now we're going to understand how heat is transferred. Last week we talked about heat and how it is formed of atoms and molecules and it transfers from the hot objects to the cold object. There are three ways that heat is transferred. It is either transferred by conduction, convection, or radiation. Conduction is when it's transferred through solid particles or in through direct contact. So let's say your hand is cold and you want to touch something that's warm. The, the warm object will transfer the heat into your cold hands through direct contact or solid objects. We call this as heat conduction. And moving on to the second way that heat transfers, which is convection. And convection happens through liquids or gases. And we talked about the convection currents in a previous lab as an introduction. And we said if we have a boiling pot of water, the dense air will float to the top and then the cooler air goes down and then there's a cycle. And this is what we call as convection current. As for the third way that heat transfer is through radiation. Radiation is when it transfers energy by electromagnetic waves. So you don't have to actually see it, but you can feel the radiation such as fire or the sun is another way that heat transfers through the process of radiation. Moving on to energy conservation. So when energy transforms from one form to the other, or it can, or it can be moved from one uh, transformation to another, or from energy form to another energy form, we said the law of energy, of conservation of energy, it is conserved, it, it's not destroyed or, nor created. As for the last part of this lesson, we're going to be discussing conductors and insulators. We're going to know how conductors are objects that can conduct electricity and they conduct el electricity by conducting heat in a well way and insulators are materials that do not conduct heat well so they do not conduct electricity. Insulators and conductors are new terminologies and we're going to be taking examples regarding these two terms. And as usual, we are going to be using online quizzes to assess ourselves and videos and interactivities. And I hope this week will bring you new knowledge. Thank you so much, 6th grade.